Victoria Cannibal Child. Oh, what a feeling. Scratching in the first number two, 11 running, and they're all set to go. Racing now, getting away pretty well, the uh, favourites, Cool Prince, Prince of Rebels. It's going to settle in the back half of the field, and other team is going to lead up early. From major action, Captain Clipper named the day. Then Van der Haas, Storm and Prince, just in behind them, would be in about sixth position. Uh, Prince of Rebels is uh, next. They were followed by Rocky's Pal, who's the furthest in towards the centre of the track. And they were followed by L Lord Rielton, Storm and Prince just inside of it. And they were followed by Cool Prince. He's been able to drift back, but he's probably only about three or four lengths off the lead, and Tuscan Rule is back there with him. Onto the course proper, 500 to go. It's another team are leading. From in second spot, major action. Name the day there, Captain Clipper, Prince of Rebels is running on. Storm and Prince is blocked. Rocky Pell running into the race as well. And then came Tuscan Rule as they came to the 300 metres. And going up to hit the lead was Captain Captain Clipper. After it was Rocky's Pell. Further out on the track was another team up, but it's Captain Clipper. Rocky's Pell's after it, then Prince of Rebels. Rocky's Pell after Captain Clipper. A hundred to go. Rocky's Pell's taken the lead. Captain Clipper trying to go with it. Rocky's Pell a half a length in front of Captain Clipper, and Rocky's Pell wins it a half a length. Captain Clipper second. Three away Vanderhaar third from Tuscan Rule. Then Prince of Rebels and Storm and Prince name the day. Further back another team are it knocked up. Cool Prince was never a factor. Then came uh, Lord Rielts on the stable made a knocking up was major action well if you did back cool prince uh about the 800 he went to go up on the outside damien oliver and didn't have any luck at all he uh, uh the other one of the spurton runners they sort of got in a bumping jewel and damien unfortunately came off second best there wasn't a lot of room when he first went there but gee rocky uh, rocky's pal was a very good win now here here it's coming to this incident you can see damien's actually oh there's we've arrowed the uh winner there rocky's pal but the one on the outside rail, running last, is Cool Prince. And as you run it on a bit, the one in the blue hat and the gold, you can see Damien try and get a run here. And now the run will start to close. And he just can't go anywhere. So there are, he's blocked there, can't go. And he's gone to the line hard held. So if you did back Cool Prince, just remember it. Now the winners virtually came up the middle of the track and, and all the way along, Gary, he was probably two or three horse widths away from any other horse. And then towards the latter part, often when they're under pressure, they can drift out a little bit. And he has, look at here, look at the gap. And that was pretty much all the way up the straight except for the last 150 when he went closer to the outside rail. That's right. Well, that might be the um, best part of the track. because.